We have team coverage of Matthew's Aftermath. Two reports tonight from some of the hardest hit areas. Ten on your side's Aaron Kelly is in Virginia Beach and Brandy Cummings has you covered in Chesapeake. First, back to the view though that you can only get from Chopper 10 and a look at what Matthew left behind in Virginia Beach. The damage and power outages are bad enough, right? But the city is also warning people that they're to watch your water use because the system is still in recovery mode tonight. Ten on your side's Aaron Kelly has been in Virginia Beach serving the damage all day. Aaron. And we have covered a lot of storms, but this damage almost looks like a tornado came through. When you look around at the debris, a tree fell down and hit this home and kept going and it hit this one. And tonight, members of the community have been helping out. They've been salvaging what they can from this home. <laughs> Uh, we were sleeping and um, we were actually thinking about going to a shelter, but we just said, okay, let's just stay here. I was soundly asleep, but I just woke up in an instant. You might have too if you heard the tree that crashed through Mercedes Nogales' home Saturday night with five people inside. I can't even describe it. It's like a really loud noise and, you know, it just shook everything like, like an earthquake. <laughs> The same tree crushed the neighbor's home, too. No one was hurt. So on Monday, as Nogales looked at the damage around the bed where her daughter and mother normally sleep, but didn't that particular night, she remembered all she had left. I'm so glad we're, we're alive. I'm so glad they didn't get My daughter was not hurt. Despite their loss, the family has had the help of First Hispanic Baptist Church of Virginia Beach. Since the sun came up after the storm, they've jumped on top of the cleanup. I'm doing okay, but um, like I said, I'm just thankful for all these people. On another street, a massive fallen tree barricaded Shirley Butt in her home nearly three days. And the tree started leaning, and I ran back in the house, and the tree fell. And when it did, I, it fell into the house next door, and it crushed my car. And uh, it was a very loud popping sound like an explosion when, the, when it hit the car. When you look at the fact that this tree fell parallel to your house. I'm so lucky. I'm very fortunate to be here. And as far as we know, at the homes we visited today, no one was hurt. If you would like to learn more about how you can help out this family, we'll be putting that information for you on our website. For now, we're live in Virginia Beach. Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.